Hi there. Now, this is quite a tricky question, in my opinion, on reduction formula. We were given in equal the integral then of x squared plus 1 to the power minus n. It asked to integrate it with respect to x and show that for n greater than 0, we got this reduction formula here. Now, you can check through my working here to where I got the answer. And then in part b, we had to find i2, and you can see that I've got the answer here. Now, I'll run through the method, though, just in case there were any problems. First of all, then, copy down the integral, i n, here. And then, because we're going to use integration by parts, and looking at what we had to find, I got the clue that we would need to put a 1 here in front. So, using the formula for integration by parts, the 1 was the dv by dx, and x squared plus 1 to the power minus n was the u part. And then, following through with the formula, you can see I've integrated the 1 to give me x, and then I've multiplied it with u, and then minus the integral of v, essentially, which is x, and then I multiply it by the differential of what u is. Okay, so we've got that there. Had to use the chain rule through that part, okay? Just tied it up on the next line. And then this is the next sneaky part here, where you'll see that what I've done is I've created x squared plus 1, because we're going to need that. And then I've had to take away the 1 just to give me 0 here. So this is a little trick here which is easy to miss. And that's why I've done it in red there, just to highlight it. So that means that I can expand out. Now I can do x squared plus 1 times x squared plus 1 to the power minus n minus 1, as you can see here. Okay, And then we've got minus 1 here multiplied by x squared plus 1 to the power minus n minus 1. That's that term there. And what this results in is I can add the powers here. I can add 1 to this, and I've just got x squared plus 1 to the power minus n. And then with this one here, I've just pulled out minus 1 here, and I've got minus, then in brackets, n plus 1. So now I have got everything, these two integrals, that is, in this format here. So I've then got in equals x, x squared plus 1 to the power minus n, plus 2n, in. in is this integral here. And then we've got minus 2n, and this integral here is i n plus 1. And then from that, I can rearrange this. I can add this term, 2n i n plus 1 to both sides, and uh, subtract i n from both sides. And then factorize these two terms that contain i n. And finally, divide by 2n to give the result that we had to show. Okay, quite tricky then, I feel, especially over this part here. Now in part b, we had to find i2, so all you need to do is set n equal to 1. When you set n equal to 1 in here, you get i2 equals x times x squared plus 1, all to the power negative 1 over 2. Okay, And then for this term here, that's just going to come out at a half, half i1. I've just cleaned up this term next x squared plus 1 to the minus 1 then is 1 over x squared plus 1 and combined it with the x over 2. And then here we've got plus a half and then for i1 I've just copied in what that integral would be. It would be the integral of x squared plus 1 to the minus 1 as you can see here. And so we get the first term here and this is the standard integral 1 over x squared plus 1 is arctan of x. So you end up with a half arctan of x, and then plus the constant of integration c. Okay?